Hey, how's it going? This is SMS Terms for Beginners short messaging system. You know, text messaging. <laughs> hey, my name is George. I'm the founder and chief whaler of Whole Whale, a B Corp digital marketing agency, and we're going to bring you up to speed on some SMS marketing stats, quick ideas, and terminology. First, some quick stats and facts. Roughly 90% of cell phones in the U.S. have unlimited texting and 97% of U.S. adults, or NMP research, uh, have text. So, look, FCC also is an important point here because they moderate spam very, very differently and much more strictly on the platform. Text messaging also allows 160 characters and multimedia text. Platforms tend to charge a wide range for sending and receiving text messages. Like we've seen, you know, 0.75 cents to like 3 cents and above, depending on volume. The base cost is paid based on carrier fees, that's sending cost. No carriers don't actually charge to receive messages, but platforms tend to for that management. Oh yeah, the reason I'm outside is because I'm making a point. When your audience is out on the move, SMS is an incredible way to get them right in their phone. People carry their phones all day long when they're walking around, when they're uh, in commutes, and, and when they're listening, so they are able to get that message. And by the way, there's tons of these little smart devices attached to everyone that are also pinging people when they get text messages. It's an incredible medium, and it's still proving to be fairly uncluttered. So let, let's get to some ideas. So here are some quick, simple ideas. Uh, alert messages like urgent campaigns or limited coupons or deals. Uh, reminders about dates, events. Uh, reminders that it's tax season or Mother's Day is coming up, and here are some ideas. Uh, another one, helpful messages in a moment, like don't forget to breathe, like a mindfulness thing. You can create games and quizzes. People love instant replies back and forth. You can create click to mobile web inter uh, interactions, basically like an email kind of. You can send inspiring pictures. Note, this is more expensive if you do an MMS. You can do text to give for donations or events, uh, streamed or in person. Uh, you can use keywords as call to actions in your audio content. Uh, there's different keywords texted into a number actually can be used to customize the reply. So you could use a day of the week or month or a celebrity name and a, or a type of animal even to be creative and then play with what reply should follow if somebody texts in whale versus octopus. Yeah, sure, that would make sense. <laughs> um, you can actually also tie in a personal story and narrative uh, to bring in uh, just sort of a window into the personality of your organization. Many celebrities use this as a way of sending fans more meaningful messages. You can ask for open feedback uh, about your company or product. You can survey your audience via SMS. Okay, now let's dive into terms you should know when using these text messaging tools. SMS stands for short messaging system, basically another name for text messages. And SMS is generally sent from one mobile device to another over a cellular network. But SMS is a text-only standard first formalized in 1985 by the Global System for Mobile Communications, GSM standards. MMS stands for Multimedia Messaging System. So this is similar to texting, but it's messaging that includes pictures, videos, and audio and extends the SMS core messaging. This is commonly, you know, this is gonna cost you extra and it depends on the recipient's phone and plan and software. Short code, this is a five digit phone number that can be used to send and receive messages, commonly used for marketing because it's easy to remember when people are on the go. Organizations can share these through providers or register and pay for unique codes through the common short code administration. Long code, that's a seven digit number, you all have one that may be used to send and receive text messages and if you have a phone, you have one of these, and if you're looking for a good time, call 8675309. That joke brought to you by our writers. Uh, shared long code. Uh, okay, so a shared code just means that the provider uses one registered number and allows multiple organizations to use it. They manage the conversations through keywords that people use to opt in, that message that you send in, to initiate these conversations. So, for example, Textmarks uses the shared short code 41411 and then lets people park keywords, kind of like domains, that can be texted into it. Keywords. Okay, so the words used in the message of the text that are sent to a long or short code used to channel and organize the conversation. These are super flexible ways to channel people to 
opt into messaging, track unique campaigns, organize multiple conversations on a shared short code, i.e. texting a whale to 41444 to opt into certain messages that maybe you know we could create if we wanted to. Uh, another one, unlimited texting. So it's a common plan that allows people to send and receive unlimited texts. Note that 10% of people don't necessarily have this and will be charged per text, which is why mobile opt-in rules must be followed. That little disclaimer, text messaging rates may apply. Mobile opt-in, so a message exchange that allows users to register and receive messages over SMS. This requires the message covers the following who and what the organization is, alerts, message and data rates may apply, then message frequency, then reply help for help, stop to cancel. You have to have that in there. Web opt-ins. This is a form that allows people to register to receive text messages and opt into messaging through a website, and that's required by the FCC to have that opt-in messaging. Carrier. That refers to the phone companies like Sprint, AT&T, Verizon, Virgin. Uh, ASP, Approved Service Providers. So this is the Mobile Giving Foundation. They have a list of ASPs and manage giving relationships with carries. That's that text to give. Now, now that you have the tools and some of the terms, it's time to get started. I don't know if you've seen any extra great uses actually of, of text messaging. Drop them in the comments so maybe we can include it at the next, uh, the next one and share them with, uh, share them with whole whale. All right, happy texting. Subscribe by the way, because we have awesome stuff probably over here and more videos. They're great.